What's good, Patriots fans? Welcome in to Patriots Today by Chat Sports. Tyler Jones here with you. Thanks for joining us. Coming up on today's show, ESPN's Mel Kuyper Jr. has his brand new grades out for the NFL draft for your New England Patriots. He not only graded New England, but all 32 teams across the league. We will show you Mel's grade, what he had to say, and react to it coming up in just a matter of moments. Before we do, folks, we are very close. We are on the verge of 2,000 subscribers here on the channel. We've been growing at a rapid pace here, and we want to keep it up because the more subscribers we get, the more content we can bring you. So here's the deal. If you want more news and rumors, you want us to talk trades, free agency, just because the draft's over doesn't mean we don't have stuff to talk about. We want to bring that to you here on the channel. Subscribe now for free. Turn on notifications so you never miss a moment. Help us get to 2,000 subscribers on the channel, youtube.com slash Patriots today. So, Mel Kuyper. Uh, I like Mel Kuyper a lot. I thought he did an incredible job. It's What was it, his 40th draft that he's covered for ESPN? Going in, this is what Mel said were the needs that the Patriots – needed to address, beginning with the corner position, offensive tackle, wide receiver, tight end, and outside linebacker. And I had told you, going into this draft, I felt like those first three were kind of the the big three, right? That you really need to take care of those things and then go from there, uh, as far as that went for New England. And ultimately, right off the jump, they had a big impact with the Christian Gonzalez move to trade down to seventeen. And there's some reports that the Patriots intentionally <laughs> traded down to 17 and made a, a friendly deal with the Steelers to avoid Broderick Jones going to the New York Jets. So not only did you move down, still get the player you wanted in Christian Gonzalez, who's arguably the best corner in this draft, but you also hurt the Jets in the process too. <laughs> That's a win. It's a big-time win. Second round, you go Keon White, edge rusher from Georgia Tech at 46, who I really like a lot. I thought he was a lot of a very good value for the Patriots there with that 46th pick. Although edge wasn't the highest priority need, he was a guy that I understood they couldn't pass on at that spot. Uh, Marte Mapu, the uh, uh, Sacramento State safety, they found at 76. Jake Andrews, center from Troy at 107. Then they went kicker with a Chad Ryland from Maryland at one. Uh, 12. City Sow, offensive guard from Eastern Michigan at 117. Antonio Maffi, offensive guard from UCLA at 144. Kayshawn, uh, right there at a wide receiver from uh, LSU at a 187. And then they wrapped up the draft. We saw uh, Bryce Berenger at 192. Demario Douglas at a 210, wide receiver from Liberty. Amir Speed, 214, corner from Michigan State. And Isaiah Bolden, safety from Jackson State at a 245. So what do you think of what the Patriots did with these picks? Before we reveal Mel's grade, let's hear your grade first. A, B, C, D, or F. What do you think of these draft picks New England went with? Tell us in the comments section below. A, B, C, D, or F of what you think the Patriots did. Ultimately, Mel's grade was a B-plus for the Patriots, highlighted by the pick of Christian Gonzalez, which Mel seemed to really, really like. Here's more from what uh, Mel Kuyper had to say. New England was in a spot to get a starter, either at cornerback, offensive tackle, or wide receiver, and that's what Bill Belichick was able to do, trading down for cornerback Christian Gonzalez at 17, a player I had ranked in the top 10. This is a fantastic get. And, you know, credit to Belichick for the move here because I think I would have been very happy with Christian Gonzalez at 14, knowing that you got a a quality player, a quality I think starter that's going to have an immediate impact. It's going to be a nice compliment to Jones at the other corner position. That would have been fine at 14. But then trading down to 17, him still being available there, and also taking, you know, avoiding uh, the Jets getting Broderick Jones by allowing Pittsburgh to trade up to that spot. I thought it was brilliant. I thought it was brilliant maneuvering by Belichick to do what he did. Christian Gonzalez, uh, his numbers this uh, past season, uh, he had seven pass breakups, 
four interceptions, gave up around 500 yards and a 61% completion percentage and a three touchdowns. Watch out. Christian Gonzalez, I thought, was a very good find for the New England Patriots. Who was the Patriots' best draft pick? Tell me in the comments section. Was it Gonzalez? Was it Keon White? Was it somebody else? Let us know in the comments section below who you believe the best draft pick was for New England. More from Mel. I also liked Keon White at 46, the selection in the middle of round two. He has the position flexibility to play with his hand in the dirt and standing up on the edge of the D-line. I thought the Pats reached a little bit for linebacker Marte Mapu, uh, but he is a solid player, so I'm not going to ding them much. The biggest question I had Friday night was, why didn't they get Mac Jones any help? They passed on the tight ends and receivers. In fact, they ended up not taking a pass catcher until round six. On day three, New England added both my top kicker, Chad Ryland, and punter Bryce Berenger, 112 and 192, becoming the first team since the 2000 Raiders to take a kicker and a punter in the same draft. Kayshawn Butte at 187 is one of the most intriguing prospects in this draft. Coming into the 2022 season, we thought he might be a first-round pick. He had nine touchdowns on just 38 catches in 2021. Then he had a poor season and even a worse pre-draft process, testing terribly at the combine. If the Patriots can untap his talent, he could be a major steal, but I have doubts. This grade might be clouded a bit by the first two selections, both of which I love, but overall, it's tough to downgrade this class too much. So with that, of the next part of what Mel is talking about there, I'm going to be nice today to the special teamers. Today, the special teamers can be people. They can live. I'll I'll leave that alone for today only. But as far as some of these others, I really liked the Keon White pick in the second round. Uh, I thought that was a good find for New England. And the Kayshawn Butte pick in the sixth, I mean, this is a guy that if he came out a year ago, would have been a first or second, at the worst, a third-round pick. Granted, he had a down year, but if anybody can fix Kayshawn Butte and get him back to the player he was previously, it'd be Bill Belichick. It would be Bill O'Brien, right? Now, as far as uh, Keon White goes, look at the numbers you're seeing on your screen right now. Doesn't that just catch your eye? I mean, it, it's pretty remarkable what Keon White did with Georgia Tech this past year. Seven and a half sacks. 17 pass breakups, 14 tackles for loss, and 54 tackles in 12 games played. Watch out. Keon White, I think, has a chance to be something special in this league. The scouting report on Kayshawn Butte uh, from our own Tom Downey. Downey had him as the number 21 receiver in this class, the number 80, 183rd overall player, saying discussed as a potential wide receiver one before the season, but did not help his stock at all. Impressive explosion and athleticism for his physical profile. Focus and effort are massive question marks. So kind of reeling Kayshawn Butte in, you know, the the natural athletic ability and all that. Watch out. I think that this could potentially be a uh, nice find for the Patriots. Uh, What do you think was the worst pick the Patriots made? You could say it was kicker or punter. That's fine. Maybe you don't like Kayshawn Butte for some reason. I don't know. Be honest. Tell me what you think the worst pick was, and this is your chance to be a little critical here, okay? I encourage you to get a little nasty and tell me what you didn't like from Belichick and company. What pick didn't make sense? Tell me in the comments section below. You may be wondering, well, Tyler, uh, I've been watching Patriots today. I've been enjoying the show, but I want more than what I see on the show. Well, you're in luck because I'm on social media, Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. You can find me there uh, at Tyler Jones Live. Follow me. And I would love to talk to you about more Patriots football and whatever is on your mind. Hit me up on social media. Would love to hear from you there. Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook at Tyler Jones Live. That is where you can find me. Still more to come on the channel. Stay tuned. We got you covered here on New England Patriots today. Thanks for joining us, and uh, we'll see you next time.